Okay, so what you're looking at here is a, a D no no board and a, and a DS, a DDS sorry, 60. Um, it's an uh, analog device, is AD9851 um, direct digital synthesizer. Just tacked onto the Arduino board for development purposes and a bit of wire that's uh, doubling as my antenna. Okay. Um, hopefully we're going to make RITI uh, radio teletyping uh, directly in, in the uh, in the Atmel chip controlling the uh, the uh, DDS and we should uh, should see it up on screen here. So if I uh, where are we now? Uh, so um, here we'll have the FODG. This the frequency that we're on here is uh, directly set in software here, uh, along with the offset and the codes available on the website. Uh, which you'll see shortly, and we've got uh, an ICOM IC7000 here, and a homebrew rig interface, which is what you can see with the LEDs flickering on top. Okay, and you can see that's roughly the same sort of frequency, with the glare from the screen. But it's a bit of an offset because of uh, the um, the BFO and that, and the IF in the radio. But uh, hopefully, we should see something happening. So when the when the uh, camera manages to adjust. First thing we'll do is uh, crack the audio on that, the radio. Should be to hear the background noise now. Uh, next up, we'll clear the received window here. And then with fingers crossed, we'll plug the USB cable in to power the Arduino. So we've uh, slightly out on my uh, on my first name there, but uh, that's probably a bit of noise that it missed something. But uh, yeah, the, the previous text anyway was just to show you that uh, to show you that the um, tends to do reasonably well in terms of uh, typos and, and mistakes. And this is live over the air. The signal is is a good quality signal, but uh, show you the radio front. If you can see that on there, it's a bit bright for the uh, camera screen. It's got a better angle, maybe. So 
but the signal signal like plus twenty here. Um, and on the uh, on the radio link through the homebrew rig interface there. Also on the website if you're interested. Um, <coughs> and then all through here. So I'm not sure I can prove this to you, but maybe I just disconnect one of the power pins. So this is the five volt pin. If I just unplug the Arduino. You see that it goes. I'm plugging the power back in. Redoes it, and you've uh, obviously come on phone. Obviously, you can see here where the the mistake went. Okay, and those strings are just stored here. Just stored here. Text inside the program. Thanks for watching.